Hey guys, it's Steven Adwell at AMR Studio, and I've got a story to tell you. So last week, I should have vlogged about it, but I just, I, you know, I procrastinate, so it's better late than never. Last week, my wife and I got the opportunity to go see 21 Pilots in Oklahoma City. And so it's a pretty cool story, so it's kind of bragging a little bit. But mainly I'm going to brag about my friend, Nick. Uh, a friend of mine, Nick, from, that I used to work with at House of Blues and the United the Woodlands United Methodist Church down in Houston, he is touring with this really cool band called Bare Hands. And I'm, I became a fan of Bare Hands because they came through House of Blues probably like four, maybe five years ago. And I was just blown away. I really liked their music. And, and, and it's very rare for me, you know, you get jaded when you work with so many bands like every night. You kind of take things for granted. Anyway, I, I thought they were really good. So I ended up becoming a fan about their album. My friend Nick was posting some pictures of him hanging out with these dudes, and I was like, whoa, dude, how is he hanging out with the drummer from Bare Hands? I was just like, dude, that's really cool. And then like another day went by, and I saw a picture of him from front of house position. Not him, but it was a picture of from his view of front of house of them on, on stage. And I was like, dude, he's got to be touring with these guys. Right before Hurricane Harvey, he had gotten a gig as the front house engineer for Dillinger Escape Plan, and it was really cool watching him and another guy we, I used to work with at House of Blues. They were both on this tour with Dillinger Escape Plan, and they got to see the world and stuff like that. And it's, it was really fun to watch and see their careers progress. So I randomly texted him a few weeks ago, and I was like, hey, dude, are you on tour with uh, Bare Hands? And he was like, yeah, dude. And I was like, whoa, dude, that's really cool, because like, I became a fan. They came through House of Blues, and I, I really... I really dig that band. And I was like, are you by chance coming to Tulsa? He was like, yeah, I think we are. And I was like, cool, man, maybe we'll come out, you know, and um, my wife and I will come out, get the opportunity, I haven't seen him for a while, to meet up with him after the show or something, you know, to catch up a little bit. Then he was like, oh, no, I'm sorry, dude, we're not coming through Tulsa, we're actually in OKC at the Chesapeake Arena. He was like, yeah, we're on, uh, we're, we're support for uh, 21 Pilots. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. I was like, maybe my wife and I will come out and check out that show. And he was like, no, man, uh, maybe I can get you on the list. And I was like, well, dude, like, I facetiously was like, you know, like, well, if you can get my wife and I on the list, like, I can get my wife to cancel anything. You know, I didn't think anything was going to come of it because, you know, that, that's a lot to ask for to get on the list. He was like, uh, let me check and I'll get back with you. Probably like a week or so went by. And I get a text from him, and he was like, hey, dude, I got you guys on the list. And I was like, what? No way. I didn't think anything was going to come of it. But he came through and was just like, dude, I got you on the list. And, and that's a pretty big deal. I call my wife, and I'm like, hey, my friend Nick got us on the list for 21 Pilots in Oklahoma City. Like, do you want to go? And she was, like, super excited because she really likes both of these bands. She jams their music all the time. She was, like, really excited. So she, like, canceled everything. And she was, like, telling all of her coworkers and everything, like, oh, yeah, my husband, he's gotten us into this show or whatever. So it made me look way cooler than I am. But getting us on the list, we got seats, and we also got VIP passes. Well, I guess it's all part of the VIP pass that we got, which get, got us seats as well as we got to go onto the general admission floor, which is their more expensive tickets. Well, I've never been to an arena show, and let me tell you, it was really fun. It was really cool. Nick really hooked us up. It was definitely an experience that I'll, I won't ever take for granted, and um, I want to thank you, Nick. I can't thank you enough. I know I keep thanking you through text. You really gave me some brownie points. In other news, Zero Detail is releasing their new single, Summertime. So be on the lookout for that. I will post a link once they, when it, once it drops. It comes out July 3rd, which is today or tomorrow, depending on when I drop this video. And I also am working with Benjamin Dahlstrand on some film compositions, electronic film compositions. I guess you call him a film composer at this point. But anyway, I'm working with him and it's a pleasure to get to the opportunity to mix for him and uh, he's got plans for a lot of cool stuff. And might I just say, this track, it's a very beautiful piece. It's, oh man, it's, it's been really cool to pull these tracks up and, and get the opportunity to work on it. Follow, like, subscribe, 
uh, for more video updates on what's going on in the studio. Maybe I'll have some more cool stories about, you know, some of my connections in the music biz who make me cooler because they're doing, they're, they're killing it, they're crushing it, they're doing really awesome things in, in music. It's super exciting to see all your friends succeed. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon.